Fabulous, scary fairy, written and performed by Craig Charles with music by Ian Farrington, played by the BBC Philharmonic and conducted by Ben Jernan. Brilliant and so tense, I feel absolutely exhausted. I'm sure you do too. Uh, with that, we are going to close our storybook tonight. All that remains to do is to thank our orchestra, thank our conductor and our special guest, Craig Charles. Thank you all. Also, many thanks to our producers, Mike George and Anthony Cherry, and to you as well for listening. From me, Louise Minchin, don't have nightmares. Good night. Sleep well. This is Radio 2 on the BBC Sounds app, on your smart speaker, and on 88 to 91 FM. BBC News at 10 o'clock. This is Francis Reed. Kent police say they're not treating the firebombing of a migrant processing centre in Dover as a terrorist incident. Two people were injured after three devices were thrown this morning. The suspect, a man, was found dead at a nearby petrol station shortly afterwards. Around 700 migrants were moved to another site for their safety. The Conservative MP for Dover, Natalie Elphick, says she's spoken to the new Immigration Minister, Robert Jenrick. I have expressed my concerns about the security of that centre in Dover. I have raised with him, as I've raised before with other Home Office ministers, that I don't feel that this is the appropriate place for a migrant um, receiving centre. Dover is an extremely busy and open port. Officials in South Korea say most of the 154 people known to have been killed in a crush last night have now been identified. More than 130 others were injured as around 100,000 people gathered in a popular district of the capital, Seoul, to celebrate Halloween. Police say they expect to confirm more deaths in the coming days. Neil Ahmed was in the alleyway where the tragedy unfolded but managed to escape by climbing onto a ledge above street level. So at first, someone pushed from the back. Like, it was like quite a few times then I realized something's gonna happen there's no way you can breathe so everyone lifting up and <gasps> that's what they're doing like taking like their last breath and things so they're kind of suffocating I didn't sleep till now I couldn't sleep because I see people dying in front of me at least 80 people have died after a pedestrian suspension bridge collapsed in western India. The structure in the state of Gujarat only reopened for public use last week after major renovations. Polls have closed in Brazil in the final round of the presidential elections. The results currently neck and neck between the far-right incumbent Jair Bolsonaro and the left-wing former president Luiz Inácio Lula da Silva. Sport and in Formula One, Red Bull's Max Verstappen has just won the Mexican Grand Prix and set a new record of 14 race victories in a single season. Lewis Hamilton for Mercedes came second. In football, Marcus Rashford scored his 100th goal for Manchester United to help his side to a 1-0 win over West Ham at Old Trafford. The Hammers boss, David Moyes, said it wasn't an easy victory. It's been close every time I've come here, but it, uh, it doesn't change the record, does it? You've got, to, uh, you've got to try and score and win, but we deserved it. We deserve something out of today, you know, you couldn't have come away and said that we didn't, really away from home, we've actually played really well and we've probably, don't know if we've had as many chances as United today, but we've, we've given them some problems and all the other games away from home have come really close to winning as well. Arsenal beat Nottingham Forest 5-0. In the Scottish Premiership, Celtic secured a 3-0 win over Livingston. The weather, any showers in northern areas will become lighter overnight, becoming wetter in southern England, Wales and parts of Northern Ireland in the early hours, while eastern areas will remain dry. BBC News, it's three minutes past ten. <laughs> BBC Radio 2 
Unwinds with Angela Griffin. And here we are. The clocks have changed. The darkness is creeping in. I hope you are wrapped up warm right now. How are you feeling? Sleepy? Well, you've come to the right place. I am Angela Griffin, and this is Radio 2 Unwinds. Tonight's show is all about celebrating both the darkness and the light and witnessing the passage of time. I'm a real believer in you've got to have the darkness to appreciate the light, haven't you? You've got to have the light off in your living room so you can